Hey all you wonderful people, welcome back to the Brugly channel. It is me, Brugly, as always, and today I'm going to be going over a very, very scary and terrifying backrooms level called Level Terror Dreams. This one is just downright creepy and very disturbing, and it might induce some kind of anxiety, so watch out if you're subject to that kind of thing. You all seem to really enjoy the creepy things, creepy backrooms levels, terrifying stuff like that, so I know you'll like this one. This one's just crazy. Thank you for watching, and let's dive right into it. So, Level Terror Dreams, as a whole, is classified as a Class 5 difficulty and is completely unsafe with a dangerous environment and dangerous entities, both. The level is cut up into different sections or dreams that each do different things but are each terrifying in their own way. The level entirely is different to each person who gets here because everybody has a specialized place from their memories that this level takes place place as. The environment will feel strangely familiar, and the objects inside will seem familiar as well. The level has no noise, and everything is muted, including your breathing and footsteps, and the only thing you'll be able to hear is whatever you're thinking in your head. For now, at least. Trust me, you'll be able to hear stuff later. Each door, window, and hallway in this level leads to a different dream or sublayer, or a crazier part of the entirety of this level. And as I said, Said, the physical place you'll be in is different for everybody. It might be one person's childhood home, or it could be someone else's elementary school they went to. It just depends on what memory this level chooses to manifest itself as. But what doesn't change is that the deeper you go into this level, through the doors, through the hallways, through the windows, the further you get to the center of it, the darker and stranger and more terrifying it gets. It is imperative, so important that you don't stay in each of these rooms and hallways ways for long, because just after 10 minutes of being in one, you'll start to see shadows in the corner of your eyes, and you'll feel vibrations of someone walking near you and talking to you. You won't be able to hear the actual words they're saying, because everything is completely silent here, obviously, but you'll be able to feel the vibrations in your bones. That's right, you'll be able to feel vibrating things like someone was talking to you in your bones. That's scary. That's... <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying. At this point, the level will start to get more distorted, and the walls and the ceilings and the other objects will begin to morph into very weird shapes, kind of like this dream is collapsing. If there's lights on in your level, then they'll start to get really dim and they'll eventually go dark. And the objects here will start to get worn down and old looking and they'll all become covered in blood. That's right, in blood. And those voices that are making the vibrations will start to get louder to the point where they're so loud that you can hear words being said to you by whatever's hiding in the darkness. Only some words though, because most of the words are in an unknown language. These shadows that hide on this level are referred to as nightmares, and they hide in the darkness of the level, only seen dashing quickly from dark spot to dark spot to avoid being seen. But sometimes you will be able to catch a quick glimpse of them in your peripheral vision, and then you turn over and you see nothing there. At this point in the level, the deeper you go, the worse off you'll be, because now the rooms and hallways are going to get even darker and more unnerving, and more things will be seen hiding out in the shadows. You still won't be able to fully hear the noises or voices, but you'll be able to pick up on those vibrations to understand some stuff. The nightmare entities themselves, they're typically over 7 feet tall, and they move so fast that it's hard to tell if they float or run. Doesn't matter though, because their main goal is to drive you insane, <laughs> I think they do a pretty good job, and they do drive you insane by doing what I said earlier. They hide in the dark spots of the level, and they scare you, but they scare you specifically in order to make you run deeper into this maze of hallways and rooms. They want you to open as many doors as you can and get lost and go deeper and deeper into this dream level, because the deeper you go, the crazier you get. There's also an extremely dangerous sub-level to this level called the Blood Moon, and it seemingly brings random people to it, and they have no choice in the matter at all. The Blood Moon is a dark red sky with a red floating orb in the center of it. Everything is red. The ground, the vines, the leaves, the sky, 
everything. And this area has even more nightmare entities living in it. Except these here are more aggressive and they attack on sight rather than just trying to scare you and make you run away. But back to the main part of the level. After about the hour long mark, the entirety of the physical level you're in is not anything like it was when you first got there. Because at the start, you could kind of recognize it. It might have looked like your childhood home. But now, it's just completely distorted and weird looking and creepy and dark. And there are things jumping in and out of the shadows around you and forcing you to move into certain directions that they want you to go. Eventually, they will attack you. I think this level in and of itself is cool, but I also think that it has a deeper meaning than just being a terrifying level. To me, it kind of symbolizes the backrooms as a whole. You know, the idea of being sent to a place that's familiar, but you've actually never been. A place that seems infinite, but might not be. And being stuck here with no escape. Like both this level and the backrooms as an entirety are like this. Not to mention that the nightmare entities torment you into running deeper into the level, just like you can be sent deeper into the backrooms by being scared from a level or an entity. It all connects in a really disturbing, morbid way, and I think it's pretty cool. Anyways, that's it for this level explanation. I do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Until the end, you're a real one. I just uploaded a video on Toogly where I rank, get this, cartoon hotties. <laughs> um... Yeah, I did that because you all voted for it. And I also uploaded another video on Spoogly. So go check that out if you're interested as well. And even more recently, I uploaded a video about me reacting to a really creepy backrooms found footage. This one is easily the most creepiest one I've ever watched. It's of level 22. My reaction's up on Toogly now. Go check it out absolute banger i've been uploaded on toogly literally three times a week for the past three or four weeks so i hope you guys are enjoying the content over there i am aiming for 50k by the end of the year so if you want to help me out drop a sub i would really appreciate it you don't have to but i would really appreciate it also leave what levels and stuff you want me to go over in the comments below i have a ton of stuff planned as per usual i have the next month or so planned out but i always love to hear what you guys want and i might be able to slide in a video or two of your requests so if you have anything you really really want done leave a comment and i'll probably go over it thank you all for the support i i, I can't believe the channel is a 400k i thank you so much for that Thank you for all you do for me. Remember that I am going to be buying the full Backrooms outfit at 500k and making videos in it and doing a photo shoot in it. If you want to help me get there, just drop a sub, tell your friends, tell your family, we're aiming for 500k, and hopefully we'll be able to hit that by New Year's Day. That would be pretty nice. Thank you so much for everything, and I will see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed.